an empty podium and several unanswered questions make the absence of frontrunner Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. more apparent at the CNN Philippines presidential debates. Because of his absence, the son of the late dictator was unable to answer what he was doing during the pandemic. He was also unable to explain why he ran for president despite saying in 2016 that he would not. Marcos and his team have been pushing for a unity campaign and encouraging positive messages. CNN Philippines gave the other bets the opportunity to criticize Marcos Jr., but only Vice President Lenny Robredo grabbed the opportunity. Yung number one ingredient din uh, ng, ng leadership, aside from character, is you show up in the most difficult times. Pag hindi ka mag-show up in the most difficult times, hindi ka leader. Other candidates played it safe and avoided pointing out Marcos's absence. But when Jose Montemayor confronted labor leader Lyodi de Guzman with allegations of corruption within labor groups, he compared Montemayor to Marcos Jr. Akala ko absent si Marcos. Nandito pala. <laughs> Ay, na wala nang pinuri kundi mga kapitalista at wala nang kinagalitan kundi ang mga manggagawa. Kaya dinudurog ang hanay ng mga manggagawa, sinisiraan ang mga manggagawa at pinupuri yung mga kapitalista. Senators Manny Pacquiao and Panfilo Lacson kept their focus on platforms and track record and did not address Marcos's absence in the debates. Labor leader Lyodi de Guzman was able to highlight key issues, particularly workers' wages and prices of goods. Vice President Lenny Robredo was a standout as she cited the well-praised initiatives of her office within the 90-second time limit.